Hi, and thank you for joining us, Tease in a Pod, as we take you step by step through Facebook Fan Page Insights in tutorial number two. As an administrator of your fan page, you have access to the Insights box. So have no worries, those who join your page cannot see them. So let's go ahead and break down these numbers. The first number, as well as the star rating, has to do with post quality. Now what post quality really means is that Facebook is comparing your posts to those posts of other Facebook fan pages that have roughly around the same amount of fans as yours does. So here you definitely want to achieve a high number as well as a 5 star rating. Now remember, post quality doesn't just mean your status updates. So anything that you post, like videos or photos, are included in here as well. The next number has to do with interactions this week. Interactions really means that those who have joined your page are engaging with you by liking or commenting on the post you put to your wall, or maybe even posting on your fan page's wall as well. Now why does it say this week? Well, your insights are updated by Facebook after every seven days. So how is post quality and interactions related? Well, the more engaging your posts are, the more interactions you should receive, and the higher the numbers your insights will be. Plus, you'll also have happier people on your page. So let's go ahead and click on the See All link. Now, the first rectangular gray box is called Fans Who Interact With Your Page. As you can see, that there is a graph here, and the default graph is called Interactions. It also has these lovely color-coded boxes where you can check or uncheck, and by doing that, it will change your graph, depending on what it is that you want to track here. Now let's go ahead and change our graph. So as you can see, there are many ways to look at your progress of your fan page, and we're going to choose the graph called Post Quality. Now with every graph, you will have these little tiny blue dots. You might have to take a closer look here, but by rolling your mouse over it, it will provide you with more information. Now, because we've chosen to use post quality, we were provided now with the information in this box about our post quality on March 15th, which where we received a 512.2 post quality. Now, how is this useful? Well, remember, every time you post something to your wall, it is date stamped. So if I wanted to, I could go back to my Facebook fan page wall, find the March 15th post, and see what it is exactly that I posted, and maybe do something similar to that so I can hopefully then receive a high quality score as we did on March 15th. So that's a great tool to use. The next thing we can take a look at here are the demographics. So it is broken between male and female. You are provided with the bar graph as well as different age groups and it's given to you also in the percentage. So what we will look at here is that 55% of males are active on our fan page where 36% of female are also active on our fan page. So this is basing it just on active fans and you can use this in a great way because for instance if you wanted to up the amount of females who are actively involved in your page you can now gear towards that because the insights have provided you this information. And of course you can use different type of marketing strategies based on what it is provided to you by Facebook through these insights. So what we're going to take a look at next is the top countries. So by clicking view all, you can now see that the top countries are United States, Canada, and Ireland for teas in a pod. Facebook also provides you with the amount of those who are actively involved within those countries on your fan page, as well as top languages. So let's go ahead and look at the next gray rectangular box and this one has to do with all fans of your page not just active ones so we're again given a graph this one's different and our default graph is called total fans and unsubscribed fans this is also provided with these wonderful little color-coded boxes that again will change what it is you have on your graph what is really really neat about this particular graph is that for instance say on March 31st you purchased an ad and what you can then do is look at March 31st on your graph and see if after that date there has been a spike of the people who have joined your page so really really useful here 
So again, there is a drop down and many, many graphs to choose from to see what it is that you find is most useful to you in tracking the progress of your fan page. So the next thing here is another bar graph between male and female. Now again, this is of all fans, not just active fans, as well as the percentage of the age groups. So what's great in knowing here is that although on the percentage chart we had above, it told us that more males were active than females, but now it's telling us that more females are actually on our page than there are males. So what we can do is we can try and market towards the females to participate on our page more. So useful, useful tools. And again, now we have a larger selection of the top countries that are part of our page. And now we're also given top cities as well as top languages. So keep in mind that although Facebook fan page insights are updated usually around every seven days, there is a bit of a lag because of the fact um, that this does occur. They are not up to the minute analytics. So just keep in mind that when you do start using them on a regular, somewhat regular basis, you will get into the rhythm and you will definitely see a, a progress happening. Another great tool to use just before we go here today is that because the insights are updated uh, roughly around every seven days, you will then lose the information of the days prior. So if you wanted to, you could download uh, some of the insights off your page to keep track and to have saved either on your computer or to print off to keep in a binder and so that you can track it over months. To do that, you just click on the export data link at the top here and from the drop down choose which one you would want to download and then the file format. By clicking download, then you will have it saved. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining us, Tease in a Pod, once again for another tutorial, and stay tuned because there will be many more coming your way. So please feel free to come join us every Monday as we put out a brand new podcast, and come on over and learn more about us on our blog, teasinapod.blogspot.com.